Now we're on to the bridge on measure 23. So take a look at measure number 23. It starts with the crash in the bass, and I'm going to play it slowly for you and count along. One, and two, and three, and the four, and, and the open hi-hat on the and of four. One more time. One, and two, and three, and the four, and. Measure 24, that plus sign, remember, means that you're back to the closed hi-hat. One E and a two and three E and a four and. On to measure number 25. On measure 25, you're going to see on the A uh of count two, there's a snare drum note with a dash or a slash on the stem. And what that means is to double hit, or you're going to let the stick bounce. So instead of just hitting once, you're going to apply a little pressure to the tip of the stick so it bounces and catch it after it bounces twice. So that rhythm slowly, one A and a two and a, uh. one A and a two and a, uh. and you want to keep it in time so that uh, the hi hat on count three doesn't come too early or too late. I'm gonna play the whole measure, one A and a two and a uh. three A and a four E N. Now when it's played at a faster tempo, it sounds a little better. One A and a two, and that leads us into measure 26 which has a fill at the end leading us into the verse. So let me do this slowly. One E and a two and. Now there's a three E and. And what I do with this is I play right left on the snare. Three E and. And then open hi-hat with my right. Three E and. Then left on the snare. Four E and. Slowly from three. Three E and. Four E and. One more time. Three E and. Four E and. The pattern's three E and. Four E and. The drums that you're hitting is changing. One, and, and. So measure 26 one more time. One, 